name is Joshua Larkin. I'm here today with Taryn Jarrett and Morgan DeRocher, and we're here to showcase our electronic safe. Um, we made it out of three quarter inch plywood. We have a little LCD puzzle combination, so rather than numbers one through nine, we have a series of color codes. And so if you look here on the color combination, um, they, the default code is just all of them empty. We use that for simplicity of demonstration purposes, but it, it has seven different states. So we have off, red, blue, green, white, yellow, magenta, and then it goes back to the off state. Okay, this shows that when you put the wrong combination in, that it won't let you open and the LED goes red. And if you put the wrong combination in more than five times, then it will lock us out for a minute. So these are just, it'll go red for only one second, and then on the, after we do the wrong one more than five times, then it'll go red for a minute. So, so in this state, it locks out the user, so the user cannot input any um, data into the touch screen. Okay, I will now demonstrate the functionality of the safe. So here, as it ships, we have our default code with all of the squares being empty. You tap the submit button. The LED turns on, signifying a correct code, and the door begins to open. Um, the safe opens automatically using two stepper motors below the lid that we'll talk about in a minute. and then you have all your valuables inside the safe. At this point, you can close the safe by simply tapping the submit button again, or you can then go into an edit mode by putting in the password shown here. This is the master password. When you s press here, you then enter edit mode signified by this blue LED. This mode allows you to change the password to whatever you want. So we will change it just to two bottom reds and a blue, and then submit. Upon submission, the door then goes in, the step, stepper motors goes in reverse and the door closes. After the door is completely shut, the code that you just entered is now the new password. So give it just a second here. So then I'll demonstrate the original code was all empty. That's an incorrect code. And then we'll go to the saved password I just put in and show that, again, we have a green LED and the safe begins to open. So that just demonstrates the functionality of a programmable safe. So Josh and Taryn talked about how the safe works, but I'm going to go into the details of how we made it. So if you zoom in a little bit, we'll, we'll open up the top door and we'll show you what's happening. So let's open this door and you can see kind of how it, the automatic door works. So you can see there is a solenoid that unlocked so that um, the door could open, and then we have these two stepper motors that we that will control the sliding door to open. So I'm just going to pop this door off. You still see the stepper motors are opening, and we've 3D printed these little pieces that um, allow friction on the sliding door to have it open. You can see we can store all of our valuables in here. We have plenty of room. We built these these rails to support the door, as well as line up the door for the solenoid when it gets to the end. So you can see. It just slides right in there. It will stay in the locked position, and so when it's when it's in its stored position, it's safe, and nobody can slide this door open because the the lock on it is holding it shut. So if you look over here, you can see the, some of the components. We have our microcontroller down there, and underneath that, we have a relay that will power the solenoid when we apply power to that. Um, this is the LED, and it will change between the three different colors of red when the incorrect password happens green when a correct password happens, and it will switch to blue when you're programming it. Um, I think that's everything.